What is up, fam? It is Shar, and welcome to Long Living Color. I provide quick tips and experiences on the law school process and legal field as a person of color. So I am actually very hyped about this video. I had the opportunity to visit Duke for the first time. I know who commits somewhere and has never visited before. Well, that's how much I've been a blue devil my whole life. And how I've had that blue one in my veins since I was 18. And I just knew I wanted to go. This was always my dream law school, my dream school. So I didn't need to visit, um, but I did. Um, this past admitted students day, um, ASD for short. If you are on the forums, you'll see it a good bit referred to as ASD or open house. And essentially what happens is that you go for a weekend and they have all these things uh, scheduled for admitted students. What it's really for is for students that are on the fence about going somewhere. So typically like ASDs will stagger for schools, but they're typically along the same week or right around the same month within March and April. Um, and so you can kind of like hop to your next schools and see, um, you don't go to all of ASDs, but the ones that you're definitely interested in and considering. So when I was there, there was a lot of people that weren't all the way sold on Duke yet. I believe there's like 200 people there and only 30 of us or 50 of us, I forget. Um, 30 or 50 of us <laughs> were committed already. So we already know we were going to Duke. And I actually met two uh, of those 30 or 50 um, and I look forward to seeing them this fall. So I wasn't able to shoot the activities for open house. I got kind of enthralled with what, like everything's going on. But without further ado, here is my trip to Duke. There are actually events scheduled Thursday. There was a dinner scheduled for that day for students that got there Thursday. Um, there were also tours, I believe. We weren't able to do any of that. We left Thursday at five, which wasn't too bad of a drive. It was about like a five hour drive, honestly five and a half. We woke up bright eyed and bushy tailed and went to Duke campus, which was about a 10 minute drive from the hotel. Um, we got complimentary breakfast and we spoke to some volunteer 1Ls and some fellow admitted students. I went with the admitted students where we were welcomed by the Dean of admissions um, and he gave a wonderful speech, talked about the um, diversity that this class will be. This was the first open house that Duke has had since COVID. So there wasn't one last year. Um, so that was a very interesting thing to note. I'm sure it's like that for a lot of other campuses as well. But after we had our welcome, we had faculty, certain faculty and professors talk about what they did and any questions we had for them. And then after that, we spoke to some students, which I thought was one of the best experiences of the entire admitted students um, day was talking to current students, um, seeing what they're doing and what they have planned um, for, the f for the following summer and after law school. So that was really cool. After that, we grabbed lunch. And then for the rest of the afternoon, it was pretty much free for all. So um, you could go tour the law school building which was like a 30 minute tour, which we did. Then you can go talk to the student orgs, um, student clinics, get more information on that. Talk to any other faculty if you have any questions about that. And that was pretty much the best of the afternoon. Saturday, we toured the rest of Duke, went to the bookstore. We saw, um, you know, some of the undergraduate buildings. <laughs> just saw everything we could. Um, I didn't make it over to Duke Gardens, but I plan to next time um, I'm over there. After that, um, went to downtown Durham and pretty much saw the culture there.
I said there's a ton of food, ton of restaurants um, that I couldn't eat at all in one day. There's this, um, I for, it's the locomotive or uh, the tobacco, the tobacco farm. Anyways, it's where this railroad train is and this water. I'm sure there's history behind it. I didn't get much of the history behind it. I just thought it was really cool. We got some amazing sandwiches there that were so good. And anytime I go back, I'm probably gonna get that same sandwich. And um, that was about it. We got back in the car and headed home. So it was a very quick trip. I'm sorry I didn't get any footage of the actual festivities. And Miss Noon's Day was great. It was very informative. Although I knew a lot about Duke already, I did feel like it just confirmed the things that I knew and also added to some knowledge that I didn't know. The community at Duke is very unique. Um, it's not too, too competitive of a culture that you typically see at a lot of C14s, which is something that I loved. The student to faculty ratio, the student to faculty ratio is very small, which is something that I really enjoy as well. Just gave a community of collaboration, something that I always knew Duke was, but then actually seeing it and actually talking to people and people coming up to you and talking to you, this was like, okay, I could see myself here. Um, I'm glad I made the decision that I made. So I'm very excited to attend in the fall. I do have more things in store for y'all to see um, from a vlogging perspective and, and also informative perspective as I do aim to have my vlogs be informative. But if you like this content and you wanna see more like it, please like, comment, and subscribe very exciting stuff guys and for those of y'all that are waiting still waiting on decisions still be patient uh last cycle did a doozy for those of y'all this cycle but you will hear back and those of you that are already committed congrats good luck and um i will speak to you guys soon peace guys